Nothing, just going to class. Um, I think I'll pass. Bye. Cameron Phillips reports to the principal's office now. Hello? Cameron, do you know why you're here? No. Okay, you're here because you skipped class. No, I didn't. You skipped Mrs. Graham's class. I have a slip right here. You skipped class on Wednesday. So? So you're not allowed to do that. So unfortunately, you have a detention. Uh, you're gonna be in room 109, 9 to 11 o'clock. Get with the program, kid. Fine, I'll be there. And drop the attitude. Cameron, get your feet off the desk. Alex, you're late. Alex, what are you here for? Apparently, I was on my phone too much. And I was disrespecting a teacher. Look. Again? Well, everyone was talking about how you skipped class today. Oh, well. <laughs> Finally, we have time. I'm so thirsty. Oh, we can just go to the water fountain by the choir room. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Oliver, never be for as a boy as for more. Oliver. Jesus Christ, 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 Christ. Hidden, you forgot the note measure 65! Oh, shut up, you forgot to wear a nice outfit today. Ow, I'm only kidding! Hold on, let me deal with these hooligans. Uh, can I help you with something? We're just here to use the water fan. Dude, that's Alex and Cameron! I don't care who it is. They're popular kids! So neither of them are Ryan Gosling, and neither of them are part of the musical. They don't belong here. Alright, Beethoven, what's the big deal? Oh, Beethoven, ha! <laughs> that's funny. You know what else is funny? Is that Beethoven was actually deaf. And if anybody's Beethoven here, it's you. Because I clearly said that this hallway was for the kids in the musical only, and you didn't hear that. So let me say it again. This hallway is for kids in the musical only. So is that water fountain. If you can't put two and two together, you're clearly not Einstein. Come on, we don't have time for these losers. Let's get out of here. It's okay, don't worry about it. Yo, I'm not gonna say it again. This is our water fountain. Don't you guys have a lame musical to get back to? Leave us alone. Oh, we do have a lame musical to get back to. Scene one, act one, lights up! Unless you have an entire band with you, you really can't hear anything. This is a soundproof room. Shut up, Mozart. If Beethoven were soundproof, we wouldn't be in this mess. Oh yeah, wouldn't that be nice? That way you would never be able to hear the sound of me popping the bubble that is your ego that this entire school has blindly and undeservingly inflated. You want to see me pop you like a bubble? Will you just stop it? We're here because of your short temper, Cameron, and your unfair judgment of character, Hayden. Unfair judgment of character? Cameron almost committed second degree murder. Jordan, you seem to like these popular people. A am I missing something here? I'll tell you what you're missing, Hayden. You don't know who Cameron is and you don't know who Alex is. You don't know what they're thinking or what they're feeling. All you're ever doing is judging them. I watch television all the time. I know what the populars are like. They bully you into believing that they run the school and if you don't like it, consider yourself invisible. That's just who the populars are. Our names aren't the populars. My name is Alex and her name is Cameron. Now I will apologize on Cameron's behalf for being rather rude to you, but I will say this. Yes, we get along with a lot of people here at school, but not because we'll ruin their lives if they don't worship us. It's because we tend to sit down and get to know someone by talking to them, listening to their stories, seeing them not by what they wear, not by what extracurricular activities they're a part of, not by how many people they hang out with every day, but by seeing them as another fellow human being who deserves a chance to actually show you who they are. 
Hayden understood that even though they have differences, they shouldn't hate someone just because of it. They all made a pact that no matter who they meet in their life, they wouldn't judge them, but they would get to know and truly understand who they are and what they are going through. The characters all eventually got let out by a school janitor, apologized to each other, and later on went out and ate that frozen yogurt that Jordan offered to Cameron earlier.